Well, good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. We on Lake Murray this morning, trying to catch some doggone white perch and stripers or whatever a bite. Back in this old cove again, one more time, and then I, I'm gonna leave it alone. But glad y'all could be with me on another episode of Loving Life. Let's work in here and see what we can find. I'm right out trying to find this thing where we need to be. Fish ain't uh, back in the cove like I'm thinking they ought to be. So we're gonna work out here in the mouth of it. See if we can catch a couple. We're gonna work down through here till we find something. <clears throat> Yesterday we get, had a, we caught a good many perch in here. Some nice ones, some not so nice. But uh, hey, it's clear, clear conditions today. It's a little bit different. We've got girls diving out here in front. And I'm thinking we need to be out there. That's what I'm thinking. Let's go out here on the, in the main water. Ease out here with trolling motor. I'm gonna troll out through here. We've got gold diving all out in here, so I'm sure that the fish are out there. You see them diving. They own fish. All we got to do is get out there and we can catch some of these fish. Hopefully. I'm not seeing much ends in here. In the cove, a couple, but they scattered. And I'm sure somewhere out in the mouth of this thing, there's a whole drove of perch to be caught. What I'm sure of. We get out there. Probably some little stripers and some perch. A lot of shad in this creek. That's why they're coming in here. Just a good feed there. We trolling pretty fast to get out here where I think I need to be. You don't never know. When I drove up, the birds was in the back of the cove. Now they're moved out here, so that tells me the fish are out here. And they're killing some shad, and that's what fur birds are feeding on. We're going to go out here and see what we can do. We're going to get in about 25 foot of water and uh, drop it down. And right there's a whole bunch of fish right there on the fish line, it's probably stripers. Let's drop it down, see if we can get one to bite it. So far, I ain't caught nothing. All right, let's drop it down. Glad y'all could be with me. Hey, appreciate all y'all out there that watch the old fisherman videos. And I wanna say my uh, good morning to Troy Wilson, and he's in Mississippi, not Missouri. I said he was from Missouri. I, I misread that, and uh, hey, that's another one of my boo-boos, but uh, Troy Wilson watches my shows, and, it, and his daughter-in-law uh, bought him a shirt, dropped it to the bottom where the big girls lie with the bass on it, and uh, he's bedridden, and he's out. He watches all my shows. But it's good morning to Troy out there in Mississippi. Got to love some Mississippi. And I do apologize by saying he was from Missouri. Anyhow, hey, we ain't catching no fish. I can't figure this one out. I see a few fish and they ain't biting. We're gonna have to adapt to something else. They ain't want what I got on today. So far, I ain't caught a fish. And this fish down there too. They just ain't biting. They ain't biting this green jigs. We might have to, we're gonna have to mix and match to figure out what they want. I don't know today, you don't know. They ain't hitting green. Well, you got a different day now. Water color's different. Might have to go to blue. Possibility. We might have to go to blue. Might be what we have to do. Let's pick up the blue and see what happens. And this fish in here, I see them. And I think they're stripers. But they sure ain't hitting. They ain't hitting yet. I have not had a bite. I tell you, the difference between a sunshiny day and a cloudy day is big time. So we need to catch these fish. We probably gonna have to go out here in the deep channel. <coughs> That's what I'm thinking. I'll swap over some colors. See what we can do. I know out here somewhere is a bunch of birds. Those are diving all around. 
I'll tell you this, finally got a bite, believe it or not. Finally got a bite. <sighs> finally got one. And he hits rolling. Get the three rig with the lighter colored jig because of the color of the daylight. Striper, that's what's out there. Hitting that blue. Hitting that blue, y'all. Y'all see him? See that? Hitting that blue. Drop back out so we can get another one. You know the in here. Might have just catch it. Using around. 21 foot of water is shallow. So this bright sunshine and shallow like this, they might see me. I might have cast me. But I see fish. Fish ain't biting. The perch ain't touching. So far. I know the end here. That was a bite. We're probably going to have to. There you go. Hit it again. We're probably gonna have to uh, go back to the two rig, catch these fish. They real peculiar out in here. They, they bumping at it, but they ain't taking so. We getting in some person that ain't hungry, but don't want what I got on. See them bumping right there? They grabbing it, but they ain't taking it. They just huh, miss them every time. They out there, right in this creek channel. They ain't biting. Right there they are, whole drove up. Let's circle swing this thing. Make them bite it. They don't want what I got on. We gotta change rods. They don't want this. They, they bumping it, but they ain't taking it. They bumping it. We're gonna have to go small. I'm thinking about changing over to a Bobby Garland. They bumping it, but they sure ain't taking it. Taking. They don't want this. We got change. We got to figure something out. They don't want this. Well, they knocked the jig up. They don't want the big jig this morning. Put it up. Put it up for right now. Let's take it. See if they'll take it. Oh, this uh, little rig here. The green jig on it. They might take it. Let's see. I caught a couple on it yesterday. Let's see if they'll bite it today. Drop them back out. This fish in here. Sometimes it takes some time to zero in on these fish. We got a windy day, so uh, they ought to bite somewhere. We get on the right bunch. tail already. <sighs> Getting out in the mouth says saying that wind's cutting through him. It's gonna be a tough day. I guarantee you on that. We have got to zero in on these fish somehow. They ain't biting. They some in here but they ain't biting. They ain't biting. Not a bit. They just finally got one to take it. Got something how they be so sluggish? That's a nice fish right there. What that is, might be a striper. Might be, feels like a bass, but I know it ain't no bass. It's a big old perch. Look at the size of that doggone perch. That's one of them jumbos, buddy. Huh, that's the kind you read about in Perch Magazine. What? That was what? Hey, damn, I thought I had a bass. That was a jumbo magnet. Mm, 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 mm. Them's the kind I want to catch. Them's the old kind I used to catch. Probably ain't many of them out here. That's what I'm thinking, anyhow. Hey, Dave, that was a good one. Bumping at it, but they ain't 
taking it. I don't want it. There you go. You have to go slow to catch them. I tell you that. You might have to go slow to catch these fish. Good ones, though. That's some big ones out there. Look at the size of that perch. That's a big old perch. Big old perch right there. Big old perch. Look at that. Whopper. Look at that. All right, folks, we uh, we just put on a gup of live metal. I remember last year this time, I started catching them on gup of live metal and I dug some of them out here. We're gonna see if they'll take that better. They're getting funny today, they don't wanna bite, so we gotta adapt. Caught a couple, and I'm adapting over. Let's see if we can make them bite a gup of live metal, these perch. I know they're in here. And I know some big ones in here. We just got to get on them and make them bite. There you he is. There he is. There he is. Hey, we got one on the... I don't know what I got him on. But we got a gup of live metal. He's a good one, too. Look at him. Stripe on a gup of live metal. <laughs> uh, you never know what them jokers are going to hit. Find out something they'll hit, though. See that? Gup of live metal. On the on 16th there, the only problem with them things, they tear up really easy. They're really soft. You go through a jaw of them real quick. But they little, just like these little shad. And there's a possibility they'll bite them. We got a few, some of them dried up. We got a few in here to play with. I had them last year. Look at that, already got them done. You up loud, uh-oh, got off. Got off that. They got a scent on them. That's why they hit them. And tore this snuff already. We caught one fish on it. Well, we're going to try to catch one more on it. The upper line metal is what they're going to want, folks. I can see that right now. That's going to be the key today. They here. The upper line metal. Got that doubt. And I got to sit in here thinking, hey, this time of year, sometimes they want the upper line. Had him right now. They want the upper line metal. They want the upper line metal, probably. Probably pulled it down. They just soft as the devil. Yeah, let's let's get some nut. Ain't got many in here. That's for sure. We got a few. In a liquid. Some of them are tougher than others. This here's a pretty tough one right here. All right, let's see what we can do with it. I think that's gonna be the key. I got a feeling. I don't know that. I might be wrong. I just got a feeling. find out to get over here where these fish are. Hey, uh, that's what they want. Get up alive and uh, show the world. That's what they're going to want. And they're good ones, too. That's what they're hitting. Get up alive and uh, drop back down. We're going to have to change that other G to a smaller G is what we're going to have to do. But they fish all in here, and they'll bite these gup alive in It's got a stink to it, though. It messes up your hands. Your hands smell terrible. But them fish smell that thing. It's, it's natural feeling to them. Got to figure out how, what kind of action they're going to want, though. So the fork it tail, it's like a little minnow. It might have to go real slow. There you go. There he goes. There he goes. Oh my, there he goes. Got another nice one too. Might just strap him. No, it is a big perch. Look at that. 
Huh? Look at that perch. That's a jumbo magnum. Look at the size of that, folks. Huh? Jumbo magnum. Now, he didn't hit the gut live mother. He hit the dog on Charlie Brewer. You never know. You never know. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. He's on the gulf alive, Mena. Caught him in the under the chin though. He didn't really want it. Pull my other jig down. Drop back down. See if we can get on that. It's a few down there. Bite, right, there he is. There he is. There he goes. Catch him, mate. We done adapt it, we catch him. Nice perch. Got him on Charlie on the Gulf Alive Miller. Got back now. To the bottom where the big girls lie. There he goes. Hey, laying it to him, man. He's starting to bite now. They're starting to bite now. Right. Got him on the Charlie Brewer. Got him on the Charlie Brewer. What? Look at him. <laughs> Drop back down. 27 foot, right in a ditch. Right in a ditch. Hey, hey, we're laying it to them, man. We're laying it to them. That's all I got to say. Big old monster perch on that doggone gup alive, man, y'all. What they want? Gup alive. Up to a bite. Who are the big boys like? We done got it down pat now. Figured out what they wanted. It won't hit just anything. They'll hit this gulp of live money. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. You putting it to them, man. That's a little one, though. They're hitting that gulp of live money. That's a little one, though. Drop it back down. Hey, we got a whole drove of them under us now. Whole drove of them. We're going to catch them right here. Loving life with the old fishermen. We got a boat down in here below us coming on us. Uh. We'll try to not pay him any attention, hopefully. Thanks to all my fans out there that's been buying merchandise on my uh, website. I appreciate you. And uh, any kind of support that y'all give me, I really appreciate. Oh. I know there's a lot of people out there like to go fishing with the old fishermen, and, and that's why I keep doing it. Although it ain't easy out in this cold weather, let me tell you. I ain't as tough as I used to be, but I'm still trying. I don't give up. But some days it sure would, not, would be a lot nicer just sit by the fireplace. But I love this fishing now. Y'all know that. I can't get a bite. See, I'm moving it too quick. They don't want it that quick. You got to move it slow. You get in a hurry, you won't catch them. You won't even get a bite. 
Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Little ones. I think there's a lot of my little picks out there that I'm missing. And them little ones like that. I don't think I can put a gup alive metal on that big head. Let's try it. Let's see. See if they'll hit the gup alive with the big head. Why not? If it'll go on there, hey, we'll try it. We'll try anything once. Foot of water now. I don't know how there might be more of them out here, so we, we're moving out to try to see if we find some more fish because they quit a little bit. So hopefully, they're going to be out here in deeper water. See, yeah, they're out here. They're moved out into the mouth of this thing. Maybe we'll catch more of them. They're hitting these doggone jig now. They're hitting, tearing out now. Just about tore it up. Hop back out. There you go. There he goes. There he goes. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a good one. That is a good one. Though. That's a good one. That is a jumbo magnum, folks. See that? Already got him. See that? What I'm talking about. Already got him. Huh. Guess what we got him on? The one I just put on with the big head. The gup alive metal with the big head. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Probably need to cut the collar off that thing. And not have that lead collar. That gup alive metal on that big head. Can we get another? They here. I'll tell you that. It's a matter of catching. There he is. Look at that. Huh? Doing it, ain't we? We're laying it to them now. I think they might like that gup alive metal with the big head. Look at that. Look at that. What a perch. He's on the small one. Look at that. What a perch, folks. Look at that what a perch. Oh my, look at that what a perch. That's a big one, ain't it? Crazy. Hey. Okay. Alright, we got a little tangle mess right here. Gotta get out. That's what we got. A little tangle mess. We need to get her out and get going here. To the bottom where the big girls lie. Huh? That's what we need to do. Untangle. There he goes. Hey, let's get it down. What y'all say? Let's get it down. We done figured them out. Double eye metal. Double eye. It's getting that time of year. They want it slow and they want a metal. Artificial metal. Hey, oh, there he was. There he was. There he is. Oh, Lord, he hit it again. They all down there, folks. They all down there on the bottom. I ain't got my fish finder view going, but they all down there on the bottom. Y'all can see me catching. I need this on the phone, Daddy Rod, what I need it on. We can have some fun. I'm going to let that go. He's a little small. Top back out. To the bottom. Where the big girls lie. Loving life with the old fish. We're definitely loving life. Shay. We get the right place, we catch one, see that? That's what I'm talking about. Get the right place, you catch one. Nice one too. Medium size, hey, they good size, good enough. Got the live metal. And a big head. Quarter ounce head. I wouldn't normally have done that. Hey, it was on there and we tried it and hey, it worked. There he is. There he goes. He smacked it. He smacked it. That's a nice one too. Big perch. Look at that. Look at that what a size of perch. Big old perch.
big old beauty. Look at that. Huh? Big old beauty. Wow. Put it back down. You got another one of them big old beauty. Put it back down to the bottom with a big girl's lie. <coughs> I like them size. They fun to catch. There you go. Hey, got another. Oh, that was a big fish. He got off though. Oh, come on. What that was? That was a big fish. There he is. Got him that time. He got him that time. He got him that time. A nice one too. Some big perch out there. Big perch. Big perch. Uh oh, I tore my jig up. Look at that. I tore my jig up. Might get a nudge on him. <coughs> this lid won't slip on me. I need to crack it down. Probably could take the lid off. We probably don't need this lid. I'm gonna take it off. It might be better. Shallow water like this, you ain't needing that lid. If I can get it off, I'm gonna take it off. Let's take it off. See what happens. See if that helps. It might help. Got that lid in there. Two jigs all we got on. We don't need that lid. Ain't hey, we 28 foot. I got a quarter ounce here and a sixteenth here. That's big enough to make this work. I think. I might be putting it back on. We'll find out. Let's try it without the lid. I don't think the lid makes a difference for us to bite, but you never know. It might make the difference for us to holding it down there to the bottom better. Bite, so it might have made a difference, especially when I'm circle swinging. It might not drag it up off the bottom that much. Might give it a yo-yo effect. two boats we're gonna get swamped I promise you we fix to get swamped there he goes there he goes, there he goes. nice perch nice perch two boats gonna swamp us they start seeing these gulls they coming buddy Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Big old nice perch out here. We done found out what they want. They want the gup alive, man. A, a gup, man. They come in that liquid jar. Hey, yeah. They eating it up, ain't they? We killing them on this gup alive, man. Gut menace. Look at that. Look at that size perch. These here big ones. These here are the kind you read about in perch magazine, y'all. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. They're killing it, too. They're killing it. You can see it floating right now. There you go. There you go. That's a good one, though. That's a good one, though. That's a good one. What? That's a good one. Hey, dang. Unless I snagged him. Snagged him, snagged him in the tail. <laughs> snagged him in the tail. Huh? Snagged him in the tail. Alright, let's drop back out to the bottom with a big girl's lie. They scatter out in here. Yeah. I'm videoing right now. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Small perch. Small perch. See that? 
Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. Not today. Not yet. I had to downsize fish for these perch. Yeah. I might not take these little jigs I'm using now. I'm on a guff of live metal now. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. That's a jumbo. What? That's a jumbo. Look at that. Huh? Drop it down to the bottom. Boy, the big girl's like. Got a nothing, folks. Got a nothing on. Nice one, too. Nice one. Yup a lot of minutes up. They're eating them up. No doubt. No doubt they're eating them up. And this time last year they done the same thing. It's funny how you just got to be able to adapt to catch these fish. They didn't want Charlie Brewer, they didn't want them other little jigs, but they eating these gup alive minnows slam up. Yeah. It's easing it up. Up to your pots, that's all we're doing. Look at that. <laughs> People, if you don't like catching perch, something wrong with you. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Nice perch. Ain't no whopper, ain't no jumbo, just a nice one. There you go. There you go. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a good one. That is a good one. Though. That's a good one. That is a jumbo magnum, folks. Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. We on Lake Murray this morning. We got our first fish of the day in a white perch. Hey, he's a nice one. Got him on a blue three inch. One to another by Charlie Brewer. Let's drop it back out, see if we can catch a few more here. 25 foot of water right on the edge of a bank on the drop. Fish will push in here, the perch oil, and we're going we gonna to try to catch them. We got another now. Oh my! Yes, sir. A little striper this time. A little striper this time. All right, let's see if we can get some more of them. Let's see if we can catch some more of them. Pushed in right in a, in a creek in here. They've been in here for several days and, and they're kind of shallow in here. Got to catch them in about 25, 20 to 25 foot of water is where they at. Pushed up on the edge of these creeks. We 
we uh we got fish in here the gulls are diving they'll be in here we just got to get on the edge of these drops where they pushing these shad up feeding on them is what we got to do and they shallow they really shallow and when they scatter out they're a little bit harder to catch but uh, hey we got a nothing on right there we got a nothing oh my we got a nothing huh what that's a nice one right there Nice white perch. Look at the size of that sucker. Huh? Look at the size of that sucker. Folk, look at this. Huh? Oh my. Put it back out. To the bottom. What a big boy's life. Catching nothing. Hey, shallow water fishing for white perch. Love it. Love it. Foggy, my goodness, it's foggy this morning. We got a couple boats in here. Knows the fish are in here too. Hey folks, we got another one on. Kind of patrolling across here. Out here on the point, and uh, we got us another striper on. Look at that. That green G. Green and yellow. They like that color. Y'all see it? Look at that. Striper. Put it back out, see if we can get another. Gonna pull around a circle and see if we can catch a couple of these perch. There he is. They out there. Got to make them bite. Got to circle this boat and make them bite. And that's a nice one. That's a good one. That's a jumbo. See that? Come back out. We can catch a couple of them right here. A couple of them hanging in here. Folks, it's still freezing cold. I'm numb. I'm so cold. It's been like a wedge all day, cold and foggy. <sighs> Just a cold day on the lake. We got a couple perch under here if we can keep them rolling. See yeah. what I'm talking about? You got the circle swing and go slow to catch them. That's a nice one right there. That's a good one. What? That's a real good one. That is a slab right there. Look at that. Look at that fat perch. Look at that fat perch. Folks, look at that fat perch. Hey, circle swing it right in here. And we'll catch it. There's a school I'm out there. No question. Here he is. I'm talking about. You got them stirred up now. I'm gonna lay it to them. What we gonna do? We gonna lay it to them. Look at that, nice one, nice one. See that? Nice one. Drop back out. Got it going on here now. Loving life with the old fisherman. All right. There he is. <laughs> we done found him, ain't we? Laid it to him, too. Look at that. That's a striper, that uh, I think a perch. A little striper. A little, little striper. Yeah. All right, let's throw it back out. We got something going on now. We got a whole school up on us, 27 foot. Whole school up. See if we can lay it to him for a little bit before we go home. We didn't get out here late because it was so far I couldn't even find my way here. It was about 11 o'clock that I got here. Now it's after lunch. Hey, yeah. We done figured them out now, though. We done figured them out. Two rigs. They ain't all big, but two rigs is what we usually ain't got green going on. Green jigs today. I think it's some big ones out there. All we got to do is pull that boat a little bit, stop it, and pull it at an angle. One should take it. No lead, just two jigs. An eighth ounce head and a uh, uh, quarter ounce head. Eight, oh, we missed it. An eighth and a quarter ounce head is all we use. 
and they in here thick as hell on the dog's back. See it? Oh, they bumping it. They bumping it. Kind of off the bottom. Circle back around. A little bit more slack. All right, there's the bottom. Now we ought to get one. Here, yeah, what I tell you? What I tell you? What did I tell you? Nice one too. Hey, they ain't super dogs, but they eat us. Drop back down. To the bottom. Where the big girls lie. There he is. They biting, ain't they? One right after another. They're not huge, but one right after another. Y'all see it? Perch snatching. Two jigs. Shallow water, you don't need a lid. Just two jigs. There you there he goes. There he goes. They're just medium size though. They're not whoppers. Get my dog on the big three inch jig. But Charlie Blue. Less than 30 foot deep, ain't that something? Water temperature 49 degrees. This goes to show you get a little color in the water. You ain't got to be deep. <laughs> you ain't got to be deep with color in the water. They loving, they loving that green and, and yellow jig. Never used that color to the day. They loving it. All we're doing is spinning this boat. Y'all see it going around in circles. Circle swing is what I'm doing right here. And what we're doing, we activating fish in one area. We're getting them stirred up, getting them feeding. Calling them in, calling them more in. Can get one that time. About in the mouth of a creek. They kind of stage and holding in here till it's time to feed. Just got to get on school of them. Hey, yeah, You're laying them to it. We laying it to them. That's a nice one right there. That's a good one. That's a good, uh, striper. Stripers pull so much more than a perch. You think you got your big perch, you got your little striper. All right, drop back down. <laughs> 29 foot, got a little deeper. I don't do a lot of tapping when it's real shallow. <laughs> hey, yeah. He nailed it. He nailed it. Nailed. That's a nice one. This is striper. No, it's a perch. Nice perch. Look at that. Look at that. What a perch. Had him on that green jig. Look at that. Huh? Once your water starts getting a little tin or it's dark day like this, you like a little yellow in it. Yellow is really good. Gold, yellow. We 
catching them. We catching them. Hey, oh, missed him. Hey, we got them down there. We'll plug them off. Get a mess now. There he is. There he is. There he goes. Yeah, we got a mess now. That's a nice perch. Look at that. Look at that. Bass assassin jig and a Charlie Brewer slider jig combination. It's killing them. Look green in them. Green and yellow. They're loving that color today because it's cloudy. And the water's got a little tint to it in here. Got them down there bumping it every time I go to move it. See ya. So what happens to go circle swing? As soon as you do, one takes it. As soon as you do. That's a nice one too. Nice perch. Huh? Nice perch. Come in here, boy. Come in here to the old fish. Alright. Drop it back down to the bottom. Where the big girls lie. We got it going on now. We didn't come up with something here. Figured out where to go. They're laying in a hole right here. Waiting to go out and feed. You done found where they're staging. What we done done. See it? Oh, I had him. I had him. See ya. Look at that. Killing them, mate. Laying it to them. Putting it to them. They ain't huge, but they eat us. We putting it to them. We figured it out. Took a while. Caught them in there shallower earlier. Now we're catching them out here deeper. They bite it, I tell you that. They in the they in the There he goes. And we catching them too, buddy. We catching them. Laying it to them. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Good fry hole size perch. Man, I love them babies. Lake Murray too. Can't beat them. Can't beat them. We're going to have to try to get up earlier tomorrow to get out here and catch some of them doggone big perch that run in here earlier. But now we done figured out where to catch them when they ain't running up in there feeding. They out here deeper. What are they doing? We catching them too, look at them. Huh? We laying it to them. Like I say, they ain't all big. But we laying them to them. Look at him. Huh? Drop back down. To the bottom, with a big girl lie. <clears throat> Love and life with the old fisherman. God, they didn't get a bite. Well, the whole school come by me though. There you go. Got it that time. You got it that time. Hitting that swimming mummy. The green swimming mummy by Charlie Brewer. What the hit? Best assassin that time. Ain't that big. They just smaller. They ain't the size that I'm looking for. They're looking for bigger ones than that. 
All right, folks. We got another no. Nice one, too. Stop back out and see if we can get another. I'm going to pull my jig down. Make them bite. Hey, yeah, that was nice enough. That was good enough. That's a good enough. That's a good one. What? That's a good one. It's got to be a striper. Yeah, old striper. I'm going to nail it. Look at that. Huh?